This one's going to be on CDW. It is an end curse interface to burn uh, CDs or DVDs from the console. So, give me the man page for here. So it's an Encurse front end for uh, different command line programs like CD Record, uh, MKISO, FS, and so on and so forth. The thing is, I don't burn CDs that much. Maybe like once in a blue moon, and uh, that's why I don't remember any of these commands here. Obviously, if you're doing some uh, automation, you want to do scripting. But if you're like one, you know, one of this person like me, where you probably burn maybe once a year or none at all. And sometimes you need to use it, and uh, it's a waste of time to look up the commands again and again, always. You know, if you're only going to use it one time out of the whole year. So that's where this one comes in. It's just uh, CDW. And it's a front end for it. Pretty easy to use, so I'll show you here. So just type in CDW. And here, this is the interface. You know, on the side here, you have your, um, you know, all your options here. So you have add, delete, and all that crap. Now, if you highlight over it, um, at the bottom, it'll tell you what it does here, right? So, the yellow stuff here, it'll tell you what it does. So, you highlight over this, it'll tell you it writes the image and all that, verify data, so on and so forth. So, the first thing you want to do, use your up and down arrow here, is you go to configurations and then you hit enter. And in here, um, you know, you want to put like different directories for your logs if you want to do that not that important so we'll skip that so all you do is hit uh, you can either hit tab to navigate or you can use uh, the up and down arrow whatever you prefer right like this one right here it says ISO volume size um, if you don't know what it is you can always hit enter and you go down here and I'll say get size from disk obviously whatever disk you're using like if you're using um, a CD size then it'll be smaller or a DVD and then it'll be you know, like 4.7 gigs or whatever, but it will determine it here if you hit that, right? Um, and this one right here, it says follow symbolic links here. Uh, basically, you can do, you know, in Linux they have sim links, so you want it to follow to uh, the absolute link. So I would recommend you uh, check this box. Just push space on this, and it has a little X next to it, right? And this one is the first tab, so they have different tabs here. You can see that, um, you know, in the F2 tab here, F3, this is tools, F4 is audio and stuff like that. So all you do is hit the F3, so I'll go on to the next one here. And this is our tools. Uh, here you can do some changes. So you hit uh, space here to see some more options here. And here, I'm not exactly sure what it is. I think you can put some flags in here, but... I haven't done anything here, so probably wouldn't recommend you do any of this if you don't know what you're doing. So I just undo that, and it's going to the next one here. So F4, um, this is your audio. Like if you were, um, you know, you, if you were extracting audio from your music disc or whatever, then this is where it will go. And let's say F5. This one is you know your device basically if it detects like you have your CDR um, writer or DVD writer here so mine is detected so it's just dev SR0 here and this is mine here right so if you have multiples you can select it from the list but that only have one and you have a different path you can type it in here in your custom ones so on and so forth not that hard to uh, do in here and after you're done, uh, at the bottom here, it says press F9 or F10 to save the changes. Or hit escape to cancel. I don't really need to save anything, so I'll hit escape here. Uh, that's pretty much it for that. Now, as far as getting the files here. So, if you want to add files, you go to uh, the first option here. So, this one, it tells us uh, select files from hard disk or hard drive here. So, that's what I'm going to do. Hit enter. In here, let me, what the hell was that? My public folder, and P, there we go, public, and I have some samples here. Enter, and basically, if you wanna add some stuff in here, um, they don't tell you here, but you hit space, all right? So you just go up and down with your arrow keys, and then you hit space, and it'll add it, so add, add. You don't see it, but in the bottom here, um, 
it says selected file three. So you'll see it will change if I add more. So let's say add another one, let's see five and six here. All right. And I'll tell you the size of this. So this one's like uh total is four point six megabytes. And if your disk is um depending on if you have a CD disk or uh or a DVD, right? This is the free space remaining. So I only have um a CD RW here and that's how much it has remaining that I can use okay so after you're done you hit escape and you see all your files here shows up on this list here right and it shows you the absolute path so it's not like a sim link that uh, we had before and if you want to add more let's say we add another one here let's go back here and let's go back to uh, our pictures folder and let's say we add some stuff here let's say uh, add this one this one this one maybe a PDF or something this one this one so you have 12 files hit escape and you see that uh, was that these are the new ones that we added from the pictures folder right so from our pictures here so that's the one now if you want to delete it from our list you go down to the delete one here and then you push enter and now you can actually navigate up and down with your arrow keys and let's say you want to delete this uh, text file you just hit the delete key here like they tell you to do right so you hit your delete key and there you go it gets rid of that and let's say you want to delete another one like uh, this one delete again and now we only have 10 files as opposed to 12 files we had before um, and after you're done you just hit escape and you go back to your uh, menus on the side here and if you want to write the files to this um, you can do it from here right write files to this and it'll basically it'll write these files if you want to create an image out of that so it'll create a um, compliant ISO image so let's say we do that um, well if you want to write to, to you know the files to this you said enter here and it should tell you um, a, you know your volume ID or whatever right so you can give it a name like uh, my junk or something and the speed depending you have uh, you know what kind of disk uh, does you know different uh, speeds it supports mines are rewritable so it has a 10 uh, speed here and all these other stuff not really that important and after that you hit write right here and it will start burning it but we're going to cancel on and move on to the next one um, if you want to create an image so this one will create an ISO image of all these files here right so we hit the uh, create image here and this one we can call it whatever you want in here too so for example we do uh, my stuff right and here this is the location that you want to save it to obviously you can type out the location if you want but you might make a mistake so I probably would recommend you use uh, this arrow thing over here and uh, you can save it you know different locations if you want and here you just push tab and the, at the end here you want to type in a file name so we call this like hell yeah.iso or something and then you hit the tab and then you press ok and there you go that's how you change the, you know, the file name there they do have more options in here so you go to more options press enter and here what is this thing Jolet information so some of these ones you can do with long names if you want to do that some of it, if you change some of this it might not be standardized so not really that important so this is the first tab and you have more metadata tab on f3 here so you do f3 and here you can type in like your copyright date let's say 2013 right publisher put my name in here so on and so forth and you want to save it um, you do F9 or F10 to save the changes. So let's do we do that. F9. And there we go. We saved it. Let's say we create this sucker. So we hit create. And it should be really quick. So it's done right here. Because it's only about uh, 9 megabytes. Right. And you can see. We'll check it here. So this is the ISO that we just created. It's called Hell Yeah ISO. Right. Um, and hit escape. Escape. Now if you want to write that image to a disk, they do have an option for that too. So write image to disk here, right? And uh, at the bottom it tells you write ISO 9660 image to optical disk. 
So let's say you hit enter. And this one, you select your ISO that you want to burn. So this is the ISO that we want. Right? Just highlight over it and push tab. Tab again, hit OK. And that's it. And basically this will give you options of changing the speed, which I don't have an option of that. And since we're doing an ISO image, we're not going to do any... Uh, you know, multi sessions or anything like that. So it says create non appendable disk. So it will just finalize it after it's done because it's an ISO. And they do have different um, disk burning mode. So this one it has SAO and TAO. I forgot what it means. I think this one is sessions at once and uh, track at once or whatever. Uh, look it up on Google if you want to know those, but it doesn't really matter, right? It's just an ISO image here. And after that, you can do some other stuff like dummy write or eject tray after writing and other options here. What is these other options? Uh, these other options are like burn proof. So you don't do like an orbital burn or anything like that. So push uh, escape out of that. And after that, you hit write and it should start burning your disk. Obviously, you need an, a blank disk or a rewritable or something like that. All right. So I'll cancel out that. We don't need to do that right now. And read this. Um, basically, this one is uh, to rip stuff from your, you know, your disk, your physical disk that you have. Let's say like an, a CD that you want to extract files from. It doesn't actually convert it. It just uh, extracts it uh, to your hard drive. So it doesn't create an ISO image. It just extracts the data to the hard disk only. All right. Uh, I only try that with music. I'm not sure about movies or anything like that because you know movies they have like DRM too and even music but no one actually buys music anymore on uh, CDs but uh, you know you can do that if you want and this one is to erase the disc so if you have a CD a blank uh, not a blank but you know you write something on your CDRW or DVDRW disc then you can actually uh, reformat it and then you can use it again and again This is a verifying thing. Um, I haven't tried it, but I think you can use like MD5 checksum and stuff like that. Or you can do some other hashes you can do. Uh, not that important. And configurations where you did that. Pretty much it. And then, you know, you want to quit. You go here and then, you know, you hit enter and then you quit. And it says, yeah, okay. That's pretty much it for the program. Uh, CDW. And, you know, let's recap here. I have tried some other uh, command line, pro, you know, burning program like my bash burn and all that. That thing was clumsy. I like uh, CD uh, W better because um, uh, it's just much smoother, and I like the anchors interface instead of the menu interface. Um, it's also good if you don't burn a lot from the command line because I mean some of those commands are really easy, but if you don't use it like every day or maybe every week, you're gonna forget it. And this one. I don't have to remember it. I just have to remember CDW and then do some menus and all that and add my stuff in and burn the ISO or you know burn the files or whatever it is. So that's what I recommend if you want to do uh, burning from the command line. All right? That'll be it for this one.